Sorry guys for the delay. This is Eric, this is Blah Freaking Blah. The term that I have for Batman v Superman is it's, it's wrong. It's like the best bad good movie. Uh, because the characters you're watching, Frank Castle and Oliver Queen, see what I did there? Not Bruce Wayne and Clark Kent. You, you, you know, we all watch that movie and a lot of us, I mean, it's a well done film. That's why it's, it's like it's conflicting and it, they just take themselves so seriously uh, and the material so seriously and they try to chalk it so full of stuff that it just becomes this mess. You know, a lot of people have rightly compared this to Spider-Man 3 too, um, in that it could have been a much better film had they not crammed so much shit into it. And they did. They just, they just, they, man, they were throwing the kitchen sink and the back door and whatever they could find in the back lot, they were throwing into this damn movie to try to give it, you know, to all the fan service and, uh, you know, um, all the marketability and just all the angles that they could possibly squeeze into this thing uh, for maximum effect. They were going for that, you know, billion and a half dollar Avenger money. And uh, the result, it was spotty. And if you watch my Deadpool review and my commentary in that, you'll know that I say, and I am a big advocate of this, is that the right talent needs to be involved with the right projects, people that understand the material. Um, I love Zack Snyder's work, Sucker Punch aside. Don't like Sucker Punch. Um, I think the dude is a great filmmaker. I mean, most of the talent involved in the making of this movie are some of the best in the business. So you, you watch that and you're like, well, what went wrong? You know, what, why do I feel this way? Well, it's because they betrayed the characters. Um, Zack Snyder is, I mean, I don't know the guy. I'm sure he's a great guy. And like I said, he's, he's one of my favorite directors in Hollywood. But he brings a cynical, dark tone to everything that he does. I mean, it's, it's you know, when you watch a film, you can kind of tell uh, um, the personality of the person. And I think, you know, Zack Snyder just brings this cynical tone. Uh, he is much better suited for a Batman film than a Superman film because of that. Batman is more of a dark, cynical character, even though he is about justice. You know, he's about darkness and fear and, you know, and scaring the hell out of the bad guys, where Superman is about hope and, you know, coming from the sky and the revelation, the blue and, and you know, and basking in the sun, and that's where he gets his power. He is a character of hope, and I think they really, you know, they, they got on something with me, making this mean hope, but then the tone of the film betrayed, you know, what they were trying to, you know, kind of trying to go for. So, and it seems like from the Justice League trailers and the Wonder Woman trailer that they are tweaking those films, um, and I've heard there might have even been reshoots or added scenes to Suicide Squad to give it more of a fun vibe because guys, David Ayers is not a fun filmmaker. I hope the movie is good. I have a lot of hope for the film. I look forward to seeing it. But David Ayers, he's one of the bleakest filmmakers in Hollywood. I mean, DC and Warner Brothers are like aiming for the super bleak guys. I mean, Teen Titans Go is probably going to be, you know, if they make a film of that, David Fincher will be a great director for that. Um, you know, maybe Eli Roth. Let's see what he see if he's working on anything. We'll get him for, uh, who can we get him for? Maybe the Flash movie. Um, you know, we got James Wan, the horror director, doing you know, Aquaman, which is going to have horror elements. <sighs> so anyhow, extended cut. Um, if you didn't like the theatrical version, will this help you like the movie better? Chances are no. Um, if you like the theatrical cut, it will make it a better movie. Uh, because a lot of the plot gaps, a lot of the, you know, a little bit of the character motivations that were missing from the theatrical movie are now in the film. It does make it a better movie. I think it is worth watching. If you've not seen the movie, um, it's worth seeing at least once. Gauge it, have fun with it, and then if you like it, you can buy it. If not, you can just walk away from it forever. Uh, the bonus features on the Blu-ray are okay. There's about two hours worth, and I like that, you know, I, I like at least two hours worth of bonus features on a Blu-ray. Uh, there was no matrixy behind the scenes documentary stuff which is what i really like i like you know walking you through the production i like i like seeing i like seeing the the movie behind the movie honestly i mean i love that kind of stuff and this the, the special features on this is more of a bunch of talking heads i mean really respectable guys i have a lot of respect for everybody involved mostly but the, the thing that's really obvious uh watching these guys talk is the self-serious tone which which they they speak in in reverential, you know, uh, terms, and it's, this is, you know, this is the new myth, this is the new Hercules, it's the new gods, and I'm like, oh, okay, you know, 
And there's an argument to be made for that, but simply by doing that, if you, you know, you talk so much about these being the new myths and ooh, then that by default makes them the new myth makers. And that's just, you know what, there's, stop that. Have fun with the material, guys. Don't be afraid to take a page out of the Marvel playbook because they are successful for a reason. They have honed this to a science. Um, their movies are fun. They are fun. So this film, if you like the movie, like I said, the extended cut does make it a better film. It is a better movie. It's still wrong. I mean, you know, you've got Batman and Superman both killing people. What's up with that, guys? Stop that. You're betraying the characters. I mean, Superman never smiles. Batman, I mean, everybody's having an existential crisis. You know, uh, Jesse Eisenberg, he's, his Lex Luthor is more like the Riddler than anything else. Why? I mean, I don't blame Eisenberg for that. I like Eisenberg. He's a good actor. I don't think he should get all the flack for that because there was a creative team involved that all decided that Lex Luthor should be this flaky kid billionaire. You know, now the one thing I'm waiting to see is they played the Lex Luthor senior card and he, he's gone missing. Hmm. So perhaps we will see the real Lex Luthor come around. I don't know. That's speculation on my part, so we'll see how that goes. I have high hopes for the DC Universe. I really do. I, I don't necessarily want them to do, uh, you know, the Marvel thing. I want them to do their own thing, and they seem like they're really trying to, and I respect that. It's awesome. And it's hard for me to, uh, to just rip apart what these guys spent years making. I mean, there was a lot of blood, sweat, and tears put into this film. A lot of belief. A lot of conviction. And you can tell. I mean, it's on the screen. They were trying to make every shot count. And maybe there's too much emphasis on that. Maybe, um, you know, maybe maybe trying to make every shot count. Maybe just, you know, like, because they had the Batman v Superman movie. You know, I personally would have liked to have seen a build-up the first half of the film. The second half of the film is those knuckleheads going at it. I mean, I think that's what everybody was kind of... I know that's what I was wanting. That's what I was expecting. And the minute they took that... They took the S out of verses and just made it a V. And they said, it's kind of like, oh, wow, this is kind of what... It, I'm like, well, what difference does that make? A V versus a verse? Is, is it a versus movie or not? You know, so it was... You know, I knew there was something going on. I knew they were kind of like trying to, trying, trying to downplay it. Like, okay, we didn't make the movie that these people were expecting. Um, I think that was a missed opportunity. But, 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 if they're going with the Injustice line, maybe they are saving some of that gravy for, you know, what's coming. The, you know, the big fight. So, I don't know. My two cents, guys. What did you think about the movie? Let me know down below. Um, and let's get into some Suicide Squad talk, you know? Um, and that'll be posted up here shortly. Uh, if you like what you see here, and I appreciate you watching, please subscribe. And, uh, you know, stay tuned for more conversations. Let's just keep this ball rolling. And, uh... Talk to you soon.